NASA and its partners have unveiled a game changer. The X-59 QSST, a supersonic aircraft designed to shatter the barriers of sound without shattering the peace below. This isn't just a plane, it's a bold leap toward rewriting. The rules of air travel and the world is watching from the halls of Washington to the capitals of Moscow and Beijing. The X-59's quiet sonic thump is sending shockwaves through the global aerospace community, stirring both awe and unease. The X-59, revealed in January 2024, is the centerpiece of NASA's Quest mission, short for quiet supersonic technology. For 50 years, supersonic flight over land has been banned in the United States and other nations, grounded by the disruptive sonic booms that rattle communities below. The Concorde, a marvel of its time, was confined to ocean routes, its thunderous booms too loud for populated areas. Now the X-59 promises to change that at 99.7 feet long. With a wingspan of 29.5 feet, its sleek, needle-like nose stretches over a third of its length, designed to scatter shock waves and reduce the sonic boom to a gentle thump, barely louder than a car door closing. NASA's Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy called it a major accomplishment, a testament to years of ingenuity that could unlock a new era of commercial supersonic travel. The aircraft's design is a marvel of engineering, its cockpit positioned halfway down the fuselage, lacks a forward-facing window, a radical choice to minimize shockwave formation. Instead, pilots rely on the external vision system, a network of high-resolution cameras feeding a 4K monitor, offering a crystal-clear view of the world ahead. The General Electric F414 GE100 engine, mounted atop the aircraft, delivers 22,000 pounds of thrust, propelling the X-59 to Mach 1.4, about 925 miles per hour, at an altitude of 55,000 feet. Unlike traditional supersonic jets, where shock waves merge into a deafening boom, the X-59's shape keeps them apart, producing a sound as low as 75 effective perceived noise decibels. This is a fraction of the Concorde's 105 to 110 decibels, making the X-59 a potential game-changer for regulators and airlines alike. Across the globe, the X-59's debut has sparked intense reactions, particularly in Russia and China, where aerospace ambitions run high. Both nations have poured resources into advanced aircraft, but NASA's breakthrough has caught their attention. In Moscow, analysts are poring over the X-59 specs, aware that its technology could shift the balance in commercial and military aviation. Russia's Tupolev Tu-144, a supersonic jet from the Soviet era, was retired in 1983 after a brief and troubled run. In the 1990s, NASA collaborated with Russia using a modified 2144 LL to gather data for its high-speed research program. That data, now feeding into the X-59, has given the United States a head start. Russian state media has downplayed the X-59, with some outlets claiming their own hypersonic projects, like the Su-57's upgrades keep them competitive. Yet whispers in defense circles suggest concern that the X-59's low-boom technology could inspire quieter military jets reducing detectability and reconnaissance missions. China, too, is feeling the pressure. The Chinese aerospace industry has been working on a supersonic passenger jet, with reports of a detonation ramjet engine test in 2024, aiming for a maiden flight by 2027. But the X-59's progress, backed by NASA's decades of research and Lockheed Martin's expertise, puts the United States ahead. Chinese analysts, quoted in state-run outlets, Acknowledge the X-59's potential to reshape global air travel markets. A quieter supersonic jet could open routes over densely populated areas, cutting transcontinental flight times in half, say, from Beijing to Shanghai in under an hour. This threatens China's plans to dominate the high-speed aviation market, especially if NASA's data leads to relaxed regulations before their own jet is ready. Some Chinese commentators have called the X-59 a wake-up call, urging faster development to close the gap. Back in Palmdale, the X-59 is moving through its final ground tests. On July 10th, 2025, NASA test pilot Niels Larsen guided the aircraft through its first 
low-speed taxi test at U.S. Air Force, Plant 42. The team monitored steering, braking, and critical systems, ensuring the jet's stability as it rolled across the runway. Over the coming weeks, high-speed taxi tests will push the X-59 just shy of takeoff speed, setting the stage for its first flight later in 2025. Once airborne, the jet will undergo rigorous testing at NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California. The Quest team plans to fly the X-59 over select U.S. cities, collecting public feedback on its sonic thump to prove it's quiet enough for everyday life. This data will be shared with the Federal Aviation Administration and international regulators, potentially lifting the 50-year ban on overland supersonic flight by 2028. The X-59's implications go beyond commercial travel. Its technologies, shockwave suppression, advanced aerodynamics, and the external vision system have military potential. A quieter supersonic jet could transform reconnaissance, allowing stealth missions without the telltale boom. Lockheed Martin, no stranger to defense contracts, sees the X-59 as a stepping stone, while the aircraft itself is experimental. Not a prototype for production, its innovations could inform future fighters or bombers. This dual-use potential has Russia and China on edge, as both nations invest heavily in next-generation military aircraft. A Russian defense expert speaking anonymously admitted the X-59's design could force a rethink of their stealth strategies, especially if the U.S. adapts the technology for combat. The global race for supersonic supremacy isn't new, but the X-59 has raised the stakes. In the 1970s, the Concorde and Tu-144 showed the world what was possible, but their noise and inefficiency doomed them. Today, companies like Boom, Supersonic are banking on the X-59's success to pave the way for their Overture Jet, which aims for Mach 1.7 and a 4002, 150 nautical mile range. United Airlines, American Airlines, and Japan Airlines have placed orders, betting on a future where regulators approve overland supersonic flight. But the X-59's quiet technology faces skepticism. Critics argue that even a soft thump, multiplied by frequent flights, could annoy communities. Others point to fuel efficiency, noting that supersonic jets burn more than subsonic ones, clashing with aviation's push for sustainability. NASA's collaboration with Japan adds another layer of intrigue. In July 2025, a 19-inch scale model of the X-59 was tested in a supersonic wind tunnel in Chofu, Japan, with the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. The tests, simulating Mach 1.4, confirmed the jet's design scatters shockwaves as predicted, producing a muted thump. This partnership strengthens U.S.-Japan ties, a strategic move that hasn't gone unnoticed in Beijing. China's state media has framed the X-59 as part of a broader U.S. effort to counter its technological rise pointing to Japan's involvement as evidence of a containment strategy. Yet NASA insists the Quest mission is about global progress, not geopolitics, aiming to share its data with all regulators to benefit the industry worldwide. The X-59's journey is far from over. After its first flight, NASA will spend years gathering data, from aerodynamic performance to public perception. The stakes are high. Success could open a market worth billions, with cities like New York and Los Angeles just three hours apart. Failure, though, could stall supersonic dreams for another generation. In Russia, the focus remains on military applications, with hypersonic missiles taking priority over civilian jets. China, meanwhile, is doubling down on its own supersonic project, reportedly inspired by NASA's open-source data, but wary of falling behind. The X-59's afterburner tests, completed in December 2024, proved its engine can handle the thrust needed for Mach 1.4, a milestone that sent ripples through aerospace circles. For now, the X-59 stands as a symbol of what's possible when vision meets precision. Its sleek frame, born from decades of research and thousands of hours of labor, embodies a challenge to the status quo in Moscow and Beijing. The jet's quiet thump is a loud reminder of the U.S.'s lead in aerospace innovation. For NASA, the X-59 is a bridge to the future, one where the skies are faster, quieter, and open to all. As the jet prepares to take flight, the world holds its breath, waiting to see if this bold experiment will soar.
or if the sonic thump will echo louder than expected.